everyone. I'm Tim Minchin. I'm uh, a writer, executive producer, composer, and uh, one of the two stars of Upright is an idea about a guy who has to get a piano from Sydney to Perth and has a run in <laughs> with this little. What are you doing, you dick brain? Sweary. Oi! Fuck features! Belligerent. How old are you? I'm 16, mate. It's not your fucking business. Superhero of a kid. Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh, fuck. Ow. I've got no reception. You're going to have to drive it, so try not to crash it. But my piano. Are you kidding me? What's your name? Meg. Is that short for Megan or? No, it's short for Steve. You got eyes. The premise is immediately engaging because the idea of a musical instrument of something that is meant to be sacred. It's yours anyway, it always was. Since the day we moved in here and you walked up to it and you put your finger on the story. The idea that the piano is a cross he's bearing <laughs> for his sins across the desert. I mean it's 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 epic. The creative team, Kate and Leon, me and Chris, has a group of voices. We have a combination of heart and comedy. Go! They've got my wallet! How do you know? Go! Have you got our wallet? Fuck. Fuck! That is something we all go for all the time, but that is rare. Meg! Meg! I swear. There's never been a character this big for a young woman on Australian television. She has to be funny and gutsy and, and resilient and vulnerable. And Millie's intuition of who Meg is and what she needs and how she goes about getting it is profound. Wanna live? To find a story that allows you to be chased by bikers and drunk dancing adults in sand dunes and funny sitcom dialogue in a ute. Ta -da. <laughs> and then huge sweeping desert shots and people almost dying and this slow reveal of our two protagonist backstories, the slow dropping away of their armour. When someone finds a backdrop for a story like that, um, people who work in TV and film know it, they can smell it. Play something. No. It's a funeral, there no. should be music to celebrate his life. You will let me. <clears throat> it's the story of someone who mucked up and can't get over where he went wrong. Try again. He has to go home to see his mum before she dies. If they would let me trade. And has to take this piano with him. I'd give a year for half a day, just curled up on the sofa with you. It's about family and what home is and what happens if you isolate yourself from your people. I know that I will carry you wherever I go. I will carry you. I think it's a show with a rare balance between happy and sad and hijinks and stillness and is everything I want to be involved in. Wow, is that a piano? Yeah, it's a piano. Ah, do you play? No. I mean, not at night. Not at, in hospitals. Yeah, no. I no, I didn't. Didn't mean here, just in general. Yeah. Do you... Like, no, yes. No, no good. Not. Okay. Good night. Thanks.